Hello everyone, my name is Chirag and I represent Crowdfund Junction, which is a community-focused DAO-based venture capital for Web3 projects. So today people, I'll be letting you know about an upcoming airdrop, which is highly anticipated by the crypto community and they are a good project going to invest further and as of now we can certainly try to claim its airdrop so to do do that we have already covered the airdrop as a thread on our twitter page and you can just see my screen i'm scrolling it down by the way there are a lot of good posts also on twitter which you can see so yeah here is it is you can see it's about the Taiko token. Firstly, what is Taiko? What kind of project it is? Let's see here. Let's, we can just type Taiko. And here you go. Uh, you can just go into the doc. They are basically a roll up. So you can just go into the document section. Scroll down. And under the concept, you can see what is Taiko. And you can just see that it is a secure, decentralized and permissionless rollup on Ethereum. Rollups are on Ethereum only. So if you want to read more about the project, you can just dive in and go through it, the whole document. But in a very simple way, rollups are nothing but just a, a scaling solution on the Ethereum blockchain. And there are of two types. One is the optimistic rollup, the other is zero knowledge. This particular Taiko project belongs to the latter category of zero knowledge rollup, ZK rollup, what people usually call it. So, yeah, this is what the project is about. So, let's move back to our original agenda of how to claim its airdrop. So, as you can see, we have covered it. Our thread. So I'll just move go into the thread. You can do it your own way, but again, moving com coming back to the thread and doing it from here would certainly be beneficial to you because it's a one-stop solution. The whole process is over here itself. So firstly, visit the Sepolia Fosse. You have to log in from here because you see it's not open yet. You can sign in with Google account or you can create your own. I'll just use one of mine. There, okay, here it is. The account is connected. I can ask it to send me my some ETH. I've already done this process two, three times. And again, I'll be doing it. So I'll just go to my MetaMask wallet. I have created a test wallet for this whole purpose. So let's go there. You can just copy your wallet address, paste it over here. Click on you are not a robot and just click here. They'll be sending you some testing ether here. All right, now you can go to your wallet. And now you have to, that is the one step. Again, you come back and add Taiko network to your, uh, you'll go Sepolia here firstly. You come back in the test wallet Sepolia. And you can see in the activity, that I already received 0.5 Ethereum on this account yesterday it was 0.39 and i just sent some ethereum and it's here i got it and then again you will move to the taiko you will have to add ta taiko network to the metamask now you have to add the taiko network to the metamask uh, you can click on this like hyperlink and again go to add to metamask switch network from Sepolia from the testnet to the Taiko Jol in L2 layer 2 okay and you can see 
I am already on the Taiko network. I was earlier on the Sepolia network if you see where I showed you I got these many Ethereums and also we have the confirmation in the on-chain activity that we have received our 0.5 Ethereum today itself. You can see the date here. So yeah, coming back, uh, we have as we have added on the Taiko network to our MetaMask. Now we move on to the final step of this process, bridging between Jornir and and Sepolia. So we'll be moving Sepolia. As you can see, bridge from Sepolia to Taiko. From Sepolia, we have to send to Taiko network. So coming to the bridge, I'll be sending, let's say, point three to the Jolner chain. All right, let's bridge. We have to sign our transaction here. Well, you can say on the testnet explorer, uh, it's a testnet transaction only and still pending, but it will be completed soon enough. Transaction completed. You can see from 0.89, it's just 0.59 as we have already sent 0.3 and we also have the confirmation on the on-chain activity. Now we can just go back to Tyco and we'll just see that we have not received yet, but it will come over. That won't be a problem. It takes a bit of a time. You can see over once we finish the video, the value would be more than what actually much more than what it is right now. So again, moving on to the next process before it gets completed, you have to go to this mentioned link and do some activities which are already mentioned. You can see the screenshot of that, but the activities are mentioned over here. Sometimes it takes a while because of the traffic. Perfect. So here we are. Uh, so this is the first process we have to do. It's, it's the process we have to do in ascending order so that once we complete the first process, the second one would be would open up or else it won't. So for each task, we will be getting some points. The first one starts at 20. So you have to become their Discord member, Discord community member. So you just have to log in. You can use any of the preference method you want. And you can just log in. I won't be doing that now because this then the process would be taking too long. I'm just showing you how to do it and you guys will do it yourself. And yeah, you become their Discord member, you move down you go to their twitter page and follow Ty at taiko xyz on twitter retweet their most of the tweets and like at taiko xyz tweets uh, again moving ahead you have to watch a youtube video talking about the zk rollup again if you guys want to understand what the zk rollup are what optimistic rollup are you guys can comment down on the comment section and we'll take care of it again moving ahead there's a quiz there are two quizzes the first quiz uh, again the good part is you we have the answers to the quiz all, already so if you move back onto our thread you can see for the first quiz the answer is cbcdc there are five questions and the answer are cbcdc respectively for each of the questions again you do that you move down you visit the cross chain communication exploration blog post there is a post blog post you have to read that post for which you will be getting one mystery box you come back go to the second quiz quiz which is about the cross-chain communication exploration again uh, you don't have to know the technicalities to clean to, to be efficient in the quiz you just have to go back and again we have the answer to the quiz b also as you can see here the answer is cbb dc uh, in ascending order so from first one would be c second would be b third b and so on so forth Finally, you become their Mintpad Discord member, become a Mintpad Twitter follower as well, do these processes, and join their Mintpad Discord server and follow Mintpad Ho at on Twitter. And then again, you have to do the NFT deployment, which I'll be showing you how to do that. 
and explore mint pad uh, again create a mint pad account and connect your wallet so let's move on uh, on to the mint pad section which is the last part let's just check if we have, if the ethereum we sent has arrived or not here it is the ethereum which we sent from sepolia to Tyco is here and this completes the process of bridging ethereum between sepolia and the Tyco network so again the last task is you have to deploy your own nft contract so again you go on to this link and you have to see you have to deploy erc1155 contract you there are three options you go to erc1155 contract and create you can just put anything you want i will be putting like this qw whatever name i can put this and i'll display deploy uh, again you have to keep in mind that you have to keep the collection name in more than two alphabets because two alphabets it won't be accepted at least three characters long so you can just anything you deploy it you have to sign the transaction it might take a while this is the last process eventually after this there's nothing much to do you have to upload to you have to upload your collections i think the one you want to creating nfts move on to the next section you name your nft let's say i'll name it asdf description i can write asdfg just to show you guys uh, i'll choose two files i'll choose one of them this screenshot i will update it again there are many ways you can deploy nfts first let's sign the transaction and complete this process It might take a while. NFT has been added to the collection. You can see that. Again, you name it, you name the description. There are some processes. I'll choose another file. update the collection and the wallet will prompt up so that we have to sign our transaction it might take a while so there are many ways to mint an nft and the two most popular one are erc721 way and the second one is erc1155 contract way so if you guys want to know more about how to mint nfts or anything about roll up or whatever concept you think is important to understand you can just write down it in the comment section and we will take it as i've already mentioned in the past so the process is done you go to the mint phase you can set the maximum supply and you can update it you just have to go next step next step again you have to sign the transaction to authenticate it maximum total supply updated so yeah that's all uh, you can see the zoo which i just minted is over here and you can go in the mint phase i've already set it you can just do this to complete the process and you can see all the settings have been updated so that's all the process you have to do guys uh, again uh, 
thank you for watching and you guys should certainly go and claim this nft uh, sorry the airdrop itself by by minting the nft so that's all and so after all this i've said i'll also show you two more things which uh, about the loot bot a bot on telegram which helps you so that's all guys uh, as we have already completed all the processes which we have to do to claim the airdrop and the more number of times you guys do it it will just increase the probability of achieving the airdrop and lastly i also want to show you people about loot bot it's a telegram bot which can help you with your airdrops as you can see this snippet uh, loot bot that's the name and it's an airdrop automated assistant on telegram you just join that telegram bot and select the tyco network over here as already you can see an arrow pointing at it and just follow the processes and it can also help you although it might take it might demand some ethereum actual ethereum to be kept in your wallet but it the process would help you achieve the airdrop and it will also increase your probability too high so that's all for everyone uh, we we will end our video over here and the more things you want to know you can just comment in the section down and we'll just take the topics one by one over upcoming days thank you have a great day guys crypto products and nfts are unregulated and can be highly risky there may be no regulatory recourse for any loss from such transactions